know there's such a thing called global passport ranking where all the passports in the world are ranked from the strongest to the weakest and this ranking is done based on the number of countries that these passports can travel to visa free and also by just you know global perception first of all i'm from ghana and i would honestly like to know how my passport ranks in the global passport ranking so let's find out so ghana currently ranks 76th that's really sad. Okay, let's check Nigeria. And Nigeria, 98th. Ah, uh, now I understand, Tayo Aina. Now I understand. So obviously, now just based on the kind of passport you're holding, it will determine how you have to struggle to get visa to certain countries. And guys, meet Tayo Aina. So for those of you who don't know Tayo Aina, he's honestly one of my very favorite YouTubers. And he's a very popular YouTuber. I'm sure most of you have seen his face before. So Tayo Aina recently did a video where he was talking about um, the fact that he's been struggling to get visas to certain countries just by the mere fact that he's a nigerian male look at all those red dots those are all the places i can go to why you may ask because i'm nigerian and i have the green passport which is one of the weakest across the world even in africa as africans we still have to apply for a lot of visas and sometimes you might get denied for me to go to places like tanzania for me to go to namibia morocco Egypt, I need to apply for a visa. You can spend a lot of time just for one application. And then the amount of documents they ask you to provide is just a lot. And I'm like, why? Okay, so immediately they see Nigeria, they see your mail, your visa is denied. Meanwhile, he has good intentions of traveling to that particular country where he was applying to travel to. Even to the extent that there was a time that Dubai, Dubai of all places, Dubai that all slave queens have been to, even bounced him. Dubai has been denied a lot of Nigerian males between the age of 35 to 20. This was two years ago. I was denied entry into Dubai even though I was invited for a conference just because I was in Nigeria. This denial eventually became the final straw for me and this was the period where I decided I needed to consider another alternative. That was really sad. And as a travel content creator, I understand why he will be bothered. So what he did was he just recently purchased a citizenship, or like, let me say a passport of another country that allows him to travel to over 150 plus countries visa free. And he got this for a whopping $150,000. Do you think it was worth it? Anyway, so here are six countries that offer this citizenship by investment programs. I'm gonna tell you the requirements and I'm gonna tell you how much they are selling their passport for. If you're interested, Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Anel Rizalda. On this channel, I talk about migration, I talk about nursing, I talk about opportunities for people to relocate abroad and life in the UK as an immigrant in general. So if these are topics that interest you, please do consider subscribing. So some of the reasons why somebody would like to purchase citizenship is one, probably they want to assess, let's say, the good education in that country or the quality healthcare system in that country or the benefits, you know, for their families and their children. And then most importantly, the fact that some countries can travel to many, 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 many other countries visa free. You know, the freedom and the flexibility. You don't have to queue and submit documents to travel to certain countries, apply for visa, pay agents and travel, no connection, nothing, nothing. Okay, so these are some of the reasons why people would like to pay to become citizenship of certain countries, right? So the first country that has this citizenship by investment program that is very common, apparently is one of the cheapest, is Dominica, yes. So in Dominica, the citizenship by investment program starts at $100,000. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest. <laughs> They actually have two different options if you want to become a Dominica citizen through the investment route, okay? So they have the real estate investment. For that one, you have to buy a property in Dominica worth about $200,000, okay? And then they have the other route where it's called the Economy Diversification Fund, which starts at $100,000, okay? So with the real estate route, so there are certain properties in Dominica that are, you know, approved by the government that when you purchase such a property, you qualify to, you know, get citizenship by investment. And these are usually around $200,000 and above. They are usually hotels and condos and apartments, blah, blah, blah. And you should buy the property and then own it for at least three years before you can sell it. But the good thing about this particular route is that when you buy the property, in a way, you're investing into the economy, right? you your spouse and your children all qualify to get the citizenship okay and get the passports and with the economy diversification fund it's like you are investing into the economy of dominica but with this one for each other applicant or dependent that is joining you do also have to pay something okay if let's say you're a family of four you'd have to pay one hundred and fifty thousand dollars if let's say you're a much larger family you'd have to pay one hundred seventy five thousand dollars another good thing about the dominica citizenship by investment program is that they offer discrete dual citizenship so you can actually go and purchase their passport 
passport or citizenship through investing in any of the two options i have mentioned and they will not notify your first country okay it will not be notified because you know that there are some countries where you cannot have dual citizenship they do not allow you to however if you do it with um, dominica it can be done discreetly where the other country will not be um, notified so if let's say there are certain political positions that does not permit dual citizenship if you have dual citizenship with dominica because it's discreet you can still be able to you know go for such positions in the political space in your country and then nobody will know about it because it's discreet so that's one thing about the dominica one that is quite good so the second country is malta yes but with malta first of all you have to be at least 18 years old you also have to have an investment of at least six hundred thousand euro and for the six hundred thousand euro that is if you have lived in malta for at least 36 months if you have lived only for about 12 months you have to make an investment of 750,000 euro. And for each additional applicants that you are bringing, you have to pay 50,000 euro. This is crazy. First of all, how much are people even paying falsely married people? I'm not trying to give you anybody ideas, but I've heard of situations where people pay people, they get married to them, and then become citizenship of that country, blah, blah, blah. How much, how much do those people even pay? For you to be paying 750,000 euro, <laughs> And that should be after you have lived there for 12 months and then for each additional applicant in your family let's say your spouse and your kids you have to pay for each other applicant 50,000 euros this is crazy Malta so a good thing about this Malta citizenship is that once you get it you can travel visa free to over 186 countries that is really good and then you also qualify to work and study in certain EU countries or most EU countries and that's really good and you can also travel visa free to the US so that's really good and apparently the Maltese healthcare system is very good so once you and your family would also have access to very good healthcare system aside the investment that's either 600,000 euro or 750,000 euro based on how long you have stayed in Malta you also have to make a donation to a charity of about 10,000 euro. That's the second thing you have to do. And you also have to buy a property, invest in real estate in Malta. And the real estate should be worth at least 700,000 euro. There's also Antigua and Barbuda. I know it's a very popular place for holidays and vacations. I've seen it quite a couple of times on Instagram and it looks nice, okay? With them as well, the whole processing of the citizenship by investments can take up to four months. That's really good. And then it also starts at 100,000 US dollars. With this one, you have the freedom to travel to Hong Kong, Russia, Singapore, the UK, and you know, the Europe's, all the Schengen areas and among others, okay? Another good thing about the Antigua and Barbuda citizenship by investment program is that with them, applicants are able to include a spouse, dependent children under 31 years. So sometimes these countries do not allow you to add dependent who is over 18 years old. But with Antigua and Barbuda, you can add your dependent who is up to 31 years old and you can even add their spouse and their children. You can add your parents and your grandparents age 55 and over and unmarried siblings of the main applicant and or their spouse of any age as well as to add dependents after they have been granted citizenship. Can you imagine? So it's like you're literally moving your entire extended family to Antigua and Barbuda. So this is what you have to do to qualify. And the main applicant must be over 18 years old. You also have to meet their application requirements. And then you have to select one of the four options available. It's either you're buying a business with 1.5 million or you're buying real estate worth 200,000 at least, or you're investing into uh, University of West Indies, or you're just making um, an investment in the National Development Fund of 100,000. So this is quite good because it's like you're moving your whole extended family. So this is quite good, right? What do you think? So let me give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is probably sponsored by Lemfi. Yes, Lemfi. Lemfi is a money transfer app that allows you to send money from the UK, Canada, and the US to over 10 different African countries at no transfer charge. When you send the money, the person gets the money instantly, no delay. And it is a known fact when it comes to the rates, Lemfi has the best transfer rate, okay? You get value for your money. Ever since I discovered it, that's what myself and my family have been using. I've never had any issues. And if you're my Ghana Nessus group, my WhatsApp group, you know this, Lemfi always has the best rate. And the amazing thing is, anytime you send 100 pounds and above or $150 or Canadian dollars and above and you use the referral code NANEL, you get 
10 pound if you're in the uk and 20 dollars and as much as 30 canadian dollars okay just by using a referral code daniel for your first transfer of 100 pound or 150 dollars and above okay kindly use a link in the description to make your first transfer now whether you use an android whether you use an ios you can always download lenfi using the link in the description and thank you so much lenfi for sponsoring today's video so now let's talk about since kids and nevis so with tayo aina this is, is a passport that he bought okay since kids and nevis it's a dual island in the caribbean it has beautiful beaches you know tropical landscapes and over here as per my research i know tayo says he purchased it for 150,000 usd but as per my research currently um, you have to have a minimum of 250,000 usd okay and the processing time can take up to about four months the good thing about this one is that when you acquire citizenship by investment um, with this country you and your dependents and your family can enjoy these benefits for the rest of your life and this can also be passed on to future generations by descent so that's a good thing and then you can also include your spouse you can include your children that are 26 and your parents age 65 and over as well as add dependents after the citizenship has been granted to the main applicant so this is really good. So since Kids and Nevis is a member of the Commonwealth which entitles its citizens to certain privileges in the UK, the dual island nation is an attractive location for owning a second home with good air links to Europe and North America. Dual citizenship is allowed by the nation and then there's no minimum stay required. Some of them you should have lived there for at least 12 months before you can apply, some of them 36 months. But with this one, there's no minimum stay required. And then these are the contributions that you have to make. Either you go through the sustainable island states contribution where you are making a contribution to the state um, starting at 250,000 for the main applicant and then if you have the spouse and one dependent is 300,000 USD and then 50,000 USD for each additional dependent under 18 years old or you go through the approved public benefits project where you are making a minimum non-refundable contribution of 250,000 USD to a public benefit unit in an approved public benefits project okay or you do real estate acquisition okay you purchase real estate or a property worth 400,000 USD so these are the ways and also you can travel to places like us um, uk or without a visa yes once you have a sense kit and nevis passport that's really good that's really really good so another popular country that does this is techie yeah techie you won't believe it with techie as well the processing time can take about three to four months okay and here are the requirements so with the requirements you should do one of the following one either you acquire at least four hundred thousand us dollars worth of real estate in turkey or you invest a minimum of five hundred thousand in a fixed capital contribution or you deposit at least five hundred thousand us dollars in a Turkish bank account i think that's easy hey <laughs> or you commit at least five hundred thousand into government bonds in Turkey, or you commit at least 500,000 USD into real estate investment fund share or venture capital investment fund share, or you commit at least $500,000 into a private pension system for a minimum holding period of three years, or you create jobs for at least 50 people as attested by the Ministry of Family, Labor and Social Services. So you can get citizenship by doing any one of the things that I just mentioned. Another good thing is that with Turkish passport, you are allowed to travel to over 110 different countries visa free including hong kong japan singapore and after living in turkey for three years you qualify to get the e2 investor visa in the usa yes this is really really good so in my research i came across another african country that does this citizenship by investment program and that was egypt okay so let's look at the requirements for egypt i don't know who would like to pay to be no shade to africa but to pay to be a citizen of an african country i don't know i don't know because the processing time takes about nine to twelve months with egypt and then the minimum is 250 thousand us dollars so requirement okay so you have to choose one of the following so one a non-refundable contribution of two hundred and fifty thousand us dollars to the country or yeah investing into real estate and then the real estate should be from let's say three hundred thousand usd and then the third option is you are investing into a business in egypt can either be a new or an existing business and then you can invest in a business from three hundred and fifty thousand us dollars and also make a donation to the country's treasury of hundred thousand us dollars okay and then the fourth one one is a bank deposit so you can actually make transfer 500,000 US dollars into an Egypt bank after three years without any interest hey they're gonna use your money to work for three years without giving you 
anything at all but i think that is quite good because at the end of the day you get your money back yeah so the benefits are one it is the only citizenship by investment country with visa on arrival access to nigeria one of the top five wealthiest economies in africa okay strategic geographical position between africa europe and the middle east so it's like their position is like in between i don't know how that is beneficial and then a member of the african continental free trade area and the world trade organization and then you are eligible for the e2 investor visa in the usa allowing citizenship to be a to apply for non-immigrant visa so that's my country number six so the other countries like austria um, jordan montenegro north macedonia saint lucia that are also quite popular with the citizenship by investment programs and um, i'll leave links to where you can find out all the requirements for all these countries in the description okay so they can read it for yourself and if you're interested maybe try it out um, let me know do you think it's honestly worth it to pay this huge amount of money just to get passports of another country i mean there are people with from countries where their passport is ranked 100 plus yet in the world yet they are still able to access to get visas to anywhere else and i also believe that if you i honestly i think i don't think the price is worth it because i believe that if you have this amount of money right you'll be able to get good uh, genuine documents to be able to travel to whatever country that you want to travel to at whatever time without necessarily having to invest in another country if you are this wealthy and you have hundred thousand dollars lying there or two hundred fifty thousand dollars lying there in your country comfortably and you have done something genuine you'll be able to use your bank statement to be able to assess and get a visa to the us the uk so far as you're doing something genuine without necessarily having to pay this to another country what do you think or maybe it's more than that maybe it's more about the healthcare in those countries but yes if you have that money you can travel to those countries to assess healthcare. or maybe what, what is it about i don't know anyway let me know if you think it's worth it and if you had money which of these countries mentioned would you invest in to get the asset citizenship and yeah thank you so much for watching bye